In this video, I'd like to introduce you to the idea of functions, uh, which are called actually reporters in NetLogo. So they have their own word for what we consider functions. Um, let's take a particular example. Uh, a function is like a calculating machine that uh, does a piece of calculation for you, a certain algorithm to find an answer, and then provides that answer to you that you can then use subsequently in other calculations. A typical example of this is the uh, square root function, which uh, will calculate the square root of any number that you give it, and then you can make use of its result to do some further calculations. Suppose we wanted to just define the square root of, let's say, 4, and we want to print the result out, so we would say print square root of 4, and it would indubitably, uh, indubitably do that. So, uh, but we can ask it for the square root of any number, let's say square root of 2, and it would all do that calculation for us. We can also use the value square root of 2 in a much larger expression. For instance, we can take the square root of 2 and let's say add 10 to it. So we would get 11.414 etc. Um, the square root part here is done first and then once this has been calculated the, its result is then added to 10. And so we have a little machine built into NetLogo called square root and it can take any number and do the calculation for us. What we'd like to do is to see whether we can create our own functions called reporters in NetLogo. Um, and let's try a very simple task. Suppose all we wanted to do was to uh, a, a reporter that would be given any number like 5 and all it would do would be to multiply that number by itself. It would square that number. Um, then let us see if we can actually create something like that. Now in algebra we would look at this function like this x is equal to x squared. Um, we could also write that as x times x. That's the algebraic view of a function. I'm going to put a semicolon in front of this in the code section uh, anything after a semicolon on a line uh, net log ignores it's called the comment symbol and it's very useful. Um, we'd like to do that we'd like to create that function or that reporter in net logo since it's called a reporter we'll start that way it's new kind of syntax instead of two followed by the name of the procedure we say two dash report and then we name the the function We'll call that our function um, sq for square, followed by a space. And then in square brackets, we create a name for the number that the square is going to use as input. For instance, if we want the square of 5, uh, the 5 has to go someplace. And so we're going to create a name for that. And we'll call that name x for the moment and we're done for the first line and now what we're we what we're interested in is to tell the square function what to do with the value of x well we take whatever the value of x is we want to square it so we want to multiply it by itself and then then we want to take that uh, answer and we want to report it to the outside world um, and that finishes our uh, reporter. Let's take a look now that we've created such a reporter let's take a look at its effects. We can actually run that so we can say print sq is now the name of something that we've created and we give it the value 5 and when we do that take a look it has squared the 5 and if we do that with um, let's say 12 we should get 144 and there we have it we can also use minus numbers minus 4.2 and we get 17.64 um, 
we can also combine the uh, output of square with uh, any other function. For instance, we can say print um, the square of 4 and we want to add 2 to it so that would be 16 plus 2 or 18 and there's our 18 and we can even combine um, the square root and the square functions. So we can say square the square root of 2. The square root of 2 uh, is going to be calculated first and that's going to be 1.414 etc and then square is going to take over that value and square it and we should get back with a value 2 and there we go except for we can see that it's almost 2 almost exactly 2 except it's just a little bit off and this will this is called round off error and we will see it frequently now let's go back and see if we can create something useful for us um, we're going to create something that will help us with our old problem of the bias of the random, this random technique um, is biased toward uh, not turning at all um, compared to turning one degree or two degrees. We want, we want this particular um, procedure over here, the go procedure, uh, to choose a value uh, between minus two degrees and plus two degrees when we're turning right with uh, all the numbers uh, there with equal probability. Well, there are five of them. Minus two, minus one, zero, one, and two. And we want each one of those possibilities to be uh, selected with equal probability. Well, there are five possibilities and so we can actually create a, a uh, a random function that chooses between five possibilities that's random five it will choose numbers 0 1 2 3 or 4 but of course we want the range minus 2 to plus 2 instead of 0 to 4 and so we can subtract 2 from that and here is our end result we're going to create a non-biased 2 degree move and we're not going to give it any arguments because it doesn't need any input values from the outside world it just has to spit out the numbers uh, from minus 2 to plus 2 any one of those five numbers with equal probability and so we can do that by doing this we're going to take the value minus 2 and then we're going to add to it random 5 well, random 5 is going to give us equal values between 0 and 4, and when we subtract 2 from that, or add minus 2 to it, we get the values minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2 with equal probability. And so, instead of now turning right random, we're going to take this function over here, and we're going to make use of it here. and we're going to get rid of the left random 3 altogether and now we're finished because non-biased 2 degree is going to start executing this machine this particular reporter this reporter will then go through this calculation and give back the answer which will then that number minus 2 minus 1 1 uh, 0 1 or 2 will then be given to to right to turn right and that will give us a an unbiased value from minus two to plus two degrees for this particular turtle to turn and so now we can actually execute that and it's turning a little bit but of course that's not good enough because it's really not responding to this max turn angle business over here at all and so what we need to do is we need to fix up this non-biased two degree to create um, a reporter that's that's going to be given the maximum turn angle in this case the maximum turn angle would be two and respond with a value from minus that maximum turn angle to plus that maximum turn angle. Let's say the maximum turn angle was 10. Then we would want this function to digest the value 10 
and know that it's supposed to spit back as an answer a uh, the numbers from minus 10 all the way to plus 10. Well, how many numbers are there between minus 10 and plus 10? Curiously enough, they're not 20, but 21. And so let's create uh, that kind of reporter. We're going to take the 2 degree out of here and non-biased, we'll call that uh, non-biased degree. And then we're going to feed in the max angle. We'll call it mangle. And that that number can be is going to be a, a a positive whole number like two or three or five or ten or twenty, and uh, given that number, we're going to supposed to create an answer that gives back a, a number equally probable from minus mangle all the way to plus mangle. Well, there are if it's ten, there are two times ten plus one possibilities. So that's how many we're going to have to give to the random function. Um, and then we're going to have to subtract mangle from that. And so our real answer is minus mangle plus random, how much? 2 times mangle, mangle plus 1. So let's see what that means. Let's suppose that mangle is 10. Uh, and what will then happen is this, this value is going to be calculated. This value is going to be 2 times 10 plus 1, which is 21. Random is going to choose a number between 0 and 20 with equal probability. And then we're going to take whatever number random uh, provides and subtract or add a minus mangle. Add a, add a minus 10 or subtract 10 from it. And so if mangle, if, if, if random gives us back the value of 0, then our real answer is going to be minus 10. And if random gives us back an answer of 20, our real answer is going to be 10. And that's exactly what we want. We want the values from minus 10 to 10. And so we're going to make use of this here. But of course, we have to give it a value. And that value is going to be max turn angle. So whatever the value max turn angle is, which is the value we made a little small mistake here. We're going to do that. I'm going to subtract mangle from here. Excuse me. And whatever the value of max turn angle here is, that value is then going to be given to non-biased degree. That value is then going to be put into the variable mangle, which is a variable, incoming parameter or value variable. And then it's going to be used in this calculation. Uh, non-biased degree will then give back an answer. That answer will then be given to, to right, to turn right by that amount too. And so we're going to set everything up here and turn that to a higher number and we're going to go. And if we create a larger angle then we can see that our turtles are really twisting a lot more and even twisting a lot more than that. Let's try it again. You can see that and please try the exercises.